why the TWYLA. Desire for Merit Mays, wonderful little girl. She affected a lot of people's lives. She was a straight A student. She loved school. She loved to dance. She loved to sing. Respectful and very mature for her age. I was very hard on her because I know how society is. At the age of nine, she knew how to cook. She could clean. She could wash dishes. She was so excited to turn 10 because we had this big party planned for her. She was not playing in the street. She was crossing the street to go to her bus stop. We live on Babbitt. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I don't understand what I am going through. I am seeing a psychiatrist. I am on three different medications. I have tried to kill myself. This is just so unfair. And I would have some type of symp sympathy for Lysithia if she just would have stopped. The accident had already happened. She broke my daughter's neck. That is how my daughter died. She died on the scene. She was in the hospital for 15 days because I couldn't let her go. When she, they caught this dead on arrival, me, she died at the scene. She broke both of my daughter femurs. She slashed from the inside out. She broke every bone in my daughter's face. Every tooth in the front of her face was gone. Her chin was split wide open. Her eyes was bulging out of her head. Her neck was broken. You had to be speeding. No way you was doing 30 miles. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. My daughter leaves out the house at 6.53. Her father leaves right before her. I work night shift. We practice this for a whole week. So I know my daughter knew how to cross the streets. A whole week before this happened. This was the first day that I let her go anywhere by herself. This is what y'all don't understand the type of mother that I am. I stopped my life for my daughter. And my whole life for my child. She was a good kid. And everybody passed that she crossed loved her. The school st stopped for all the kids to go to her funeral. This is not fair to me. As a driver, you are obligated to pay attention. Not only your license was suspended when you were driving to begin with. You didn't even have insurance. I don't have no money. I'm an STNA. I won't work my butt off. I don't get child support. I don't get anything. I never went to child support. I took the responsibility once I left her father. That was that. And I raised my daughter for eight years by myself with the support of these people that you see. These are not just people just coming out the woodwork. These are people who know Desire, who loves Desire, who was in her life. She had nine birthdays, and my cousin was at every last birthday. Her kids was at every last birthday. They don't have that anymore. I can't hold my daughter. I can't yell at her. I can't put her on punishment. I don't have any more kids. 
And for you to just disregard, you knew what you did, how your tire fell off, your bumper was off. A cone not gonna do that. I don't care that it was constructions, a little couple of minutes. A cone wouldn't have done that. A car was, a RTA Transit was behind her and blue because they seen my daughter. How you didn't see her? So you that into your phone? Somebody's behind you blowing, warning you that you finna hit my child. You killed her on the scene. There was no tire marks in the streets. You kept going. Then you call either your mother, your sister, I don't know who you called, but you called for a ride. You went into the gas station. You paid $10 for gas. You was on the phone calling a tow truck. And you took your butt to work like my daughter was not nothing. How didn't you know when you hit something, boom, 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 you not going to look up and look in your rearview mirror. My daughter hit your windshield. You didn't see that my daughter was 70 pounds. You didn't feel that? You didn't run her over. You hit her and she flew. And she hit the curb and broke her neck. My daughter's eyes was protruding out of her face. She was lifeless. They gave her that shot for her heart to start beating. That's why I had her for 15 days. Two extra days because I decided to save another child's life and donated her organs. I wear my daughter ashes around my neck. That's not something. My daughter's birthday is coming up. She gets to see her children. Not only that, Monday, this is why my eye is like this. Why did I even have to cross paths with her at Audie's when I live on Babbitt? Why is she tormenting me like I killed her child? If you was paying attention, this would have never happened. Period. And then for you to be tormenting me, talking about some you don't want no wreck, I, don't, I didn't even know that was her.